and welcome to Stardancer Revenant, a game that it... Never mind. A game. Oh no. Friday, October 31st. Wait, what year is this? Oh no, 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 no. I'm about to die. Again. The closest horror reaches for my throat, its scabby hand long and disfigured. Its nails are naturally sharp. I'm sorry, did I just load a game? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Uh, wasn't this here? How'd I get myself into this? I guess I'll start with failing that class last term. My boots clunk heavily on the stone steps as I charge into the great hall and collapse to a bench with a sigh. The room is full of breakfasters and chatter about the Hollow's Eve bout. Any luck with... you know what? It's hopeless! I'm failing again! Yesterday I tried to ask a simple question after class and was instantly shot down. Beatrice pulls a piece of parchment covered in violet writing from a pile on the table. Hey! The team that wins the bout is excused from finals, right? And they get cake! Yeah, you know. Even Professor Blanche can't fail you if you win the bout. How does that help me become friends with Dianthus? What are you talking about, Zelly? If you flunk Blanche's class, you're deep in newt slime! I know, but... Suddenly a brilliant idea strikes me. A grin spreads across my face as I stare at the bout sign-up sheet. It's a perfect plan. I can avoid failing the horrible class and become friends with Dianthus all at once. Hello, Zelly? I leap to my feet and search for my target. She's alone, as usual. Not eating, of course. Just pouring over a ridiculously huge leather-bound book. Here we go again. I freeze. She hasn't, sne she hasn't seen me yet. 77 magic, 15 health, 30 health. Sorry, I can't afford to pull any stunts this morning and walk over to her normally. Hello! <laughs> Cat mouth! Darth slams the enormous book shut with a thump. A silver summoning diagram glints on the cover as she hurriedly shoves it into her bag. What do you want? I don't know what year this is set in. Be my partner for the Hallow's Eve bout? We'd be elemental, and I really need to win. I flaunt the parchment to sign up for him, but she only pulls a bowl of what looks like a jeweled stew closer and starts poking at it with the spoon. Now this rises from the bench chin high. In a way, she probably thinks this is imposing, but it doesn't do much to even our height difference, if I'm being honest. You? You know what you are? A grum grum. A foolishly tall Grum Grum. So, I'm a Grum Puff that lives in dirty places, but at least sorta cute? No, you're a pest. I won't team up with you if you're a fuzzy fuchsia toadstool. For the last time, I don't like you. Is there anything you do like? You're always alone, always frowning, barely eating. It's really not good. I like lots of things. Quiet things. Small things. You are neither. She sweeps away with the swish of her cloak, but it's a small, unimposing swish. I'll let her go for now, but I need her help, and I know she needs mine. Interesting. 2014. <laughs> that's the most recent year that has happened that's had uh, this schedule of days for October. Seven years ago. Or, you know, like five or six years from now. I bolt through the bustling castle corridors, barely keeping my speed below a run. The bell tower is ringing two o'clock already. Aye. Right. I push open the doors to Professor Dari's office, almost falling over as I swing more easily than I expected. I'm here. I volunteer. I'll clear the forest this week. You? Good. I was hoping we'd get more volunteers. What are you doing here? If Dennis sees me in action, maybe she'll reconsider really being my bout partner. I make an old-fashioned military salute, fist over my heart. 
We air riches have a bad image, you know. I had a sudden burning desire to make myself useful for once. Contentment. You have five. Mana. See, I saw this in the, like, um... Stuff. Yeah. Very air, a little bit of water, but you do have some protection from the fire. Interesting, interesting. I believe that when I see it. You two will be on forest duty tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Follow Professor Clear- Me? I'm in the game! <laughs> Professor Clear <laughs> to the Icarus Point and be prepared for a battle. We have lots of woodland fey coming through the area lately. Earth types. These fire spells will make quick work of them. Already planned to let me do everything. And don't call me that. Professor Blanchard is holding a bow demonstration for the upcoming forest clearing. Should I attend? Sure! Let's do the tutorial! If you can, you should identify the fae you're facing. Knowledge is power. You can do this by casting sense. Cast that now. Oh yeah, air type. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Press stack per turn and regen is just one? Okay, okay, okay. Bumble earth and resist fire. Gotcha. Now that we've identified the Knight's Bane, we can see it has 800 health and only 7 out of 8 mana. It currently has two barriers, each barrier block a hit, no matter how strong. Because, uh, just remember the fact that Knight's Bane's our air element. Now we know about our enemy, we can end our turn. Turn the enemy will move close until eventually is able to attack you. Let's attack before it has a chance. The first per uh, will teach you strike, which is basic range attack, which I can have times. Interesting. I like that it shows how much damage it should deal. Interesting. If elemental strengths and weaknesses you can talk once you know but about some another to continue our demonstration. Now the night spain is close, you can see it is targeting me. Once my turn ends, it will attack barriers so these way to defend. This way you learn a protection class. Five bears to block with five attacks. It's because I know elemental barriers, since you chose air, it's able to <laughs> the enemy knight means air attacks. Okay. I'll try spirit magic to form a pact. Uh, we're supposed to refer to telepathy. Uh, we have saying even though some they may eventually accept it. If you don't want to cast a spell, you can cast the Pact spell. Okay, I can perform my actions. Now that it's been so you can see this in action. The regen buff lets me regenerate health every turn. Uh, projection or spirit and then volunteer. Interesting mischance. These are doing more damage than before. Um. Sure, 
let's play on hard mode. So you do this a lot, huh? Leave the safety and protection of Professor Dare's territory? Fight wild fairy that could tear you to shreds in an instant? Nervous much? Feel free to go back. I'll tell Dare you fell like a girthy bow. Come on, a student died on the way back to school this term, you know. I know. That's why it's more important than ever that we make the forest safe. Ah! It just am Spomo with enough fire strikes will be bashed like any other fay. What's this? Uh, most clearly, who's those pesky shadows? You're out of mana, and you turn to be generated mana. Okay. Interesting. Well, you have a lot of spells. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, where is my sense? You have a sense spell. Uh, sever. Minus 10 regen per stack. Remove se uh, by sever to a random enemy every other turn. Ow. Um. but not before I've gotten a bunch more strikes in. So... Okay, but can you pact? You can't really do much of anything. No, I'll use you. Oh, interesting. She doesn't want to do this. Okay, well then. Wait, wait. Just one should be enough. Okay, okay. Uh, barrier, attract, burst, camouflage. Intimidate. Yeah. Griselda, you have so many, like, buffs and debuffs. You don't actually have... How do you not... You have one attack. And, like, that's it. So she says that she will never make a pact with another fae, but what's this? Okay, okay. Uh, my enemy's more like... Now, unfortunately, she doesn't have the mana, but what she does have is, uh, what she does have is, you know, less spells, less useful spells. Wait, hold on. Yeah, fine. You can actually use, like, berries and stuff. Let's strike. 
you at least once. And we can end this. Based on kindness, uh, so you're saying it's not going to do that well. Oh, so you do care. You don't have a uh, barrier, do you? No. Yeah, that one is blinded. Elemental. It's the team name, Elemental. Not so bad. Okay, okay. You cast your barrier spell. Um, Earth. By seven plus kindness. Wait, hold up. Oh, bravery, intelligence, kindness, creativity. Oh, like that sort of a deal. Yeah, sure. You'll bury yourself once. For I learned how to defend yourself, huh? You know what we need? We need more manas. What we could also use is you potentially just killing that thing. Yep, keep sensing it. Because it still has the mischance. Cast spell. Strike on that thing twice. So it felt like they had good teamwork. Plus one contentment. Darth, this has a slightly sad expression on my face and gained nothing from the battle. I uh, found... We found some flowers in the woods, yo. Yes, we did it. So can I grind up to like max stats? Apparently she's very kind, but she's not very creative, and she's creative. Not very kind or brave. You really need to learn how to fight back. How can you be a fifth year and never have taken a single projection class? You're a sixth year. So pick her way back through the forest, and this says nothing. Why can't I meet her mouth set angrily? Do, do you ever feel bad for them? Who? The Fae. Why should I? The aren't killed, just banished back to their own realm, where they belong. What if they had a life here? Families, babies. <laughs> Darth stirs at me suddenly, scattering fallen leaves, and fixes me with the withering stare. They kill us, Griselda. Fight or be killed. Several months earlier, eh? My new boots are dusty and have been giving... Here, blister on my little toe for the last two hours. Not much further. We're almost at the dark forest. Ugh, that far? Probably won't get any more bows to break up the monotony either. We bashed a few less of in the morning, but this close to start answer. Suddenly, the guard shakes under my boots. Earthquake, get down into the bushes. Boom, 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 boom. What are you doing? Some huge crashes through the underbrush. Knock aside a small tree with a sharp crack. I stare, my feet won't move. Suddenly, the air is full of magic. Creature barely flinches, barely straight towards me. It's too strong. See, so you're supposed to be cleared. Put up your defenses and run. I remember my barrier spell, but mine is frozen. I smell charred wood and armor grease. So to run! So many teeth, it is so close I could count them. Are you going to die? Move! Push over by something coming me like a cannonball and heavily in the bushes. When I turn to look through the leaves, a six year vaguely know is calmly sending spells of green connection magic from a wand towards the monster. Something the like pop up thing you would happen. Oh, 
Dennis is tempting an earth pact with the Night Spain. Strokes his pact, but also seems curious. Another earth pact. It's another pact, but still resisting it somewhat. Earth pact. Dennis has successfully formed a pact with the Night Spain. Uh, how did you do that? The trick is to understand the Fey. And not panic. I look around. All the other students have fled towards Star Dancer. Only trampled bushes, broken trees, and a few smoking leaves remain. I'm Dathis, entering my sixth year. And you're a fifth year? Uh, yeah, I. You just saved my life. Next time, don't freeze up. You could have defended yourself at least. Before I could speak, she's trying through the forest. I pull leaves out of my hair and hurry to catch up. As I start. After Dathis into the entrance hall, Professor Dare's voice blurs over the far speak system. It touches students and teachers, touches students and teachers. A student has died. To skill by an abnormally strong wild fae while returning to school today, a vigil will be held for Phoebe Kuro this evening at 8 o'clock in the Great Hall. Please attend with your wands. Joel pieces to my center. Some of the entrance hall feels very, very cold. That was almost me. Expectably, I'm on my knees and shivering. Soda, you all right? Do you know her? The one who died? I'm suddenly aware that tears are dripping off my chin. No, I didn't know where I'm. Alright, I'm fine. I find my head is spinning bright. Faces to look for Danthus. She's gone. <sighs> you may choose which classes to take this week, Gazelda. If you study hard, you may learn new spells by the end of the week. Okay. My strength for aura and how many spells they can cast. Yes. Tell me how fast the mana grows over time. Personality affects the hue of the aura, bravery, intelligence, kindness, creativity. The hue affects the strength of elemental spells. Sure. You can see what's. Let's uh... in total mana. Plus 1.4 dodge chance per class. That's interesting. Um, let's see. I suppose you even have access to. Encyclopedia. No? Spellist. All right, that, and then Elemental Summon. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Now I see it. Now I see it. Summoning at level 1, you can get the light. At level 2, you can get attract. At level 3, you get some fey. At level 4, you get elemental. Uh, so is the health of one witch. That would be useful. Strike. Kind of want that just for the sake of having an attack. Uh, also want channeling. You know what? I want channeling too just to be able to like restore magic. I want to make more of an effort in your remedial co connection classes. I had a poor quality enthusiasm and attendance from Professor Blaintree. You mean Professor Sourtree? Your yeah, attitude is part of the problem. I won't hesitate to hold you back if you fail this, cla this class again. Bonding and. Pacting wild phase is not an easy process, as you should know for Sam by now. Every type of phase is unique and has different conditions under which they'll be bondable or pactable. So when my seeing glass out the window, Professor Dare wants me to take his class more seriously, but I've never been good with earth magic. As Nathis is here at the desk next to mine, although you can barely tell, she always sits at the back and never says a word. 
Can anyone tell me the difference between bonding and pacting and how they are related? Today in Theus, it's just why I agree to look up. It's not for a long moment. Blood tree fouls. Even more than his usual found that is. Anyone? Come on. Psst. Why are you even in this class? Aren't you an expert with packs already? I can't pack to save my life. Literally. Ha. I did pretty good the other day, right? Shush. We will volunteer every week. We'll become an unbeatable team. Oh, protectors. They were just in screw. Did you hear the question? Pay attention. On what conditions will you attempt to form a pact with the razor beak? Danthus? And everyone turns to look at Danthus, not getting out of it this time. Save answers, so the rest of see that I still fix my notebook. I will never pack the foe ever again, razor beak or otherwise, ever. What they are evil creatures who kill people. They should all be banished. At the end of this speech, you're staring hard straight at Professor Blaintree, eyes full of fire. I've never seen her look so passionate. Now you even when telling me off. Everyone turns to Professor Blaintree. This is not going to end well. Please speak quietly and slowly. I can scarcely believe I'm hearing this from you, Danthius. Just last time you loved Faye and even bonded a Faye touched hair. Once had high hopes for you as an Earth Witch. His low turn tone suddenly turns very cold. Not to I am more than used to being disappointed by my students. Please support the events tomorrow evening for detention, both for shouting class and for being completely and utterly wrong. It's not fair. You even ask why she feels that way. You're just being mean to us, like always. Ah, so my class. Someone else who doesn't give my class the respect they deserve. Why don't you report for detention tomorrow as well? I might. We trudge down the steep stone steps into the dungeons, and the landing door creaks ominously as we push it open. Plot twist, Danthius is a fae. And don't forget the cells, they love dark corners. Seriously, cleaning grum grums from the dungeons? This place is a labyrinth. Believe me, I know. Done a few dungeons down here before. You talk too much. It's once a wandered section of the stone walls used to be covered in blackish moss. Oh, they're sleeping. Down at this waves of water, a small burst of light washes over the moss. The black stuff pops off the wall and forms into a dozen little black spheres, wildly dashing this way and that. Be gone! It's my own wand, and they vanish with a puff. This spell doesn't need an incantation. But is it more fun to say be gone? Sometimes it's better to not say anything. And talk so much, we wouldn't be down here right now. Hey, it was you who went and yelled at Professor Cranktree. I mean, it was fantastic. But downright death sentence. Shades. If you hadn't been bothering me so much already, I might have been able to control my temper. Uh-huh, right. Definitely. You couldn't possibly be filled with the deep hatred of Wild Fay or anything. Death strides ahead of me down the dark passageway. Why oh, do you hate them so much anyway? Look, there's a lot active here. Make yourself useful. Or you do much of a kind kindred spirit to them. As if as you're useful after the scumming creatures along the floor ahead, we move along pretty fast, clearing the passage after passage full of gloomy gargoyles and empty stone sconces. Wait, where are we? You tell me, aren't you down here all the time? But that what? Go swim this passage led back to the stairs. It's got surround and holds for one, making it glow with a bright orange light. It must be this way. She turns into another quarter, but stops short as she sees it ends almost immediately in a prison cell. Oh no, I've heard of this. What? Suppose the dungeon is supposedly hex and could trap you down here forever. I go why she stops walking, but I think the counter hex is to think happy thoughts while I walk backwards through the last passage you went through. That screws her eyes it starts stepping backwards slowly. Grum growl Grumalos, Grumalos. Can't stop my laughter anymore. Grumalos is in the truck with sweet with the weird faces. Yeah. Laughing, wait, you, that's your happy thought? Grumalos? <laughs> Laughing so I now I'm not looking where I'm going. Bang my head hard into one of the stone sconces. Ouch, shades. It's her turn to laugh now. I forgot how tall you are. Serves you right for trying to trick me. Trying? Troublemaker, no wonder you're in detention all the time. So I'm messing around, let's get out of here. You know exactly where we are, don't you? Yep. So, we have to help these gargoyles grow her precious crystals. It was completely worth it. Did you see the expression on Professor Cleo's face? <laughs> Can't believe I'm in the game. I'll never forget it. I want to channel magic into the budding crystals and sounds for being needless to inspect an area behind a large pig like gargoyle on a pedestal. Maybe next time we should just play along with the crystal readings. Why should I? It's bogus and everyone knows it. That's not real magic. You're so brave, Phoebe. 
Not really. I just don't like wasting time. And magic, too. Much stronger than I'll ever be. What? Shave, Steve. Even Professor Gumtree says you're one of the best Earth witches at start answer. Ha! <laughs> Gumtree? Wish I could speak up like you, say what I think, and my fire magic doesn't hold a candle to yours. Tell me your secrets. My secrets, I guess I just don't care that much. Maybe that makes me a bad person. Work my way across the hall to the other side of the pig goil and look behind it at her. Phoebe's red hair moves gently as she works. Oh, shoot. Shining in the dim light of our wands. You've been standing up for me ever since first year. Don't know what I'll do next year without you. Come on, you'll be fine. You're so cute. Ow! Phoebe banks her head on the pig girl's chin as she stands up. And you're so clumsy. Shoves her head, tossing her silky hair, and then returns to our task. We finish with the last crystals in amical science. Elemental. Let's call it a night. Want to swipe some grandmas from the kitchen? <laughs> Dips on the purple ones. Okay, I see what happened. Dianth. And Phoebe were friends, best of friends, into each other, whatever. Uh, Diantha saves main character girl, whatever the name is, uh, forms the pact, and then the Fae breaks out of the pact, kills Phoebe, and she blames herself for Phoebe's death, but she blames herself for the death, uh, and she covers up for that by blaming the Fae even more, and that's obviously why she, uh, doesn't like the Fae, and also she doesn't like the main character girl, because she reminds her so much of Phoebe, especially since uh, it was her protecting main character girl that got Phoebe killed in the first place, so she blames herself for not being good enough, she blames the Fae for breaking free and killing, and she blames the main character for causing the event to happen in the first place. There's a lot of blame going on. I open, I open my eyes and Great Hall slowly swims into focus. My lashes and cheeks are wet. The book page peels off my cheek as I sit up. What am I doing? So before sunrise and the castle is chilly and empty, but at least no one is around. It's my moment of weakness. I found my dream that day with Phoebe. I will make things right. Only 21 days now. Wait, can she bring Phoebe back to life? Gazelda, that's the name. I take my scene summoning class. Professor Touchstone hasn't arrived yet. Last week, she was an entire 30 minutes late. What are you doing here? I have a right to take summoning. Couldn't stay away from me. I'm not here to be with you, tall Grum Grum. Okay, little Yasha. Nathan snows her eyes at me, but only reaches up to gently pet the Yasha hair on her shoulder. That moment... Professor Touchstone dashes in, writes self-study on the chalkboard, and slowly waltzes out of the room with an illusory partner. Well, she's as crazy as ever. Maybe we could do some real experiments in the summoning tower. But it's soft limits? Like that's never stopped us before. But it's outside Dare's territory. Wild Fae could... What? Fly over for half of Dare's territory in broad daylight to attack us? Tell me you're afraid, didn't you volunteer to clear the force? I look around and my eyes meet down at the scissors. She's giving me a strange look, but when she notices me, she quickly looks away. I have to go. I had a question for Professor Touchstone. How'd your classes go this week? Alright, so. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha. Okay. Someone has used this. I check the history in the menu. Awesome. 19 plus from contentment. Okay, so I did that and then. Ah, da 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 da. Spell list. Where's the potion making? Potions. Level 2 transmutation allows brewing potions for magical ingredients. I should do that. I hear you've been in detention again. Well, if Professor Clumsy could be nicer. Moving on! 
Your dad has stated an emerald job of clearing the forest last time. Do you wish to volunteer again? You will be assigned with her for tomorrow afternoon's clearing. It will be my honor. We'll smash it. Please do not smash the forest again. As we leave the castle grounds, we hear the happy shouts of students flying, playing, and practicing spells on the green behind us. Have you seen everyone practicing for the bout lately? Don't recall you ever actually answered my question about being my bout partner. I believe I've made myself clear. Blown away, but we have a job to do. Walk through the darkening forest in silence for a moment. What do you think out here today? The only info we have is that some spectra fae have been spotted recently. Ghost fae? You even got a class spectra? Sorry, a subclass of beast type fae. Not ghost fae. There's no such thing. Aren't they all kind of ghostish? Fae come from the shadow realm. Ghosts come from the spirit realm. Entirely different worlds. You know everything, huh, little Yasha? No, I just... Well, I guess I'm really getting a crash course in spectra fae now. Spectres don't have complete physical form, so if you can breach their barriers, they aren't too tough. You can save up mana to fire a bunch of strikes all at once. That sounds fair. What is this? Um. Eight? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Cast spell sense on at least one of them. Okay. Decoy passes special. Okay. Text all enemies with a spectral wave that clears one random buff on hit. Lots of mana. Beast type fire. Vulnerable to water. that spell on self cast spell on you okay one two three four five and six and then Cast spells strike you down. Shoot, and you don't have strike, huh? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, do some healing. Night, 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 nightmare. 20 mana range. Melee attack, 3, 5, melee, 10 mana, blah, 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 blah. And then so da da da. -da. And just heal a bit more. And end the turn. See, Intimidate. Many enemies more likely to target them can be an allied witch immediately. And how many melee attacks do they get? So I need to protect myself with six barriers. 
I can do three barriers. Oh yeah, plus 10 mana regen per stack gives one stack, so it costs 20 and then it gives 10. Not such a good thing. 45 and then... What can I do with this? I can totally heal you. You. And then... Ah. I don't have seven mana regen. That's interesting. I'd almost say do nothing else. And just hold up and wait. Let's look at your stats. Yeah, 45 regen. What? Hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. They don't have barriers yet. Can I reset the battle again? Uh, two fire barriers, yes. And then end the turn. Say, so yeah, you can't barrier, can you? No. So yeah, two fire barriers. And then cast spell. Heal on you. Cast about that much. And then say go. Cast spells attract. And then cast spell. So yeah, less the red, but instead I'd want. Hold up, hold up. I can do a thing. Six mana, right? I have six mana. Extra. I can do five barriers and do six mana. I could light something, intimidate. No, I'll just light one of these. But first, five berries on self. And cast and light on you. And yeah. Heal self. Yeah, even without barriers, you can survive that. Easy enough. Right, you actually need like eight barriers in order to like survive. Uh, strike with water. All of it on. I'll just do six of it on that. Because then I can keep recasting afterwards. Three, four. Five. Okay, okay. Hold up. 
Attract to self. Six barriers, and we're going to lose this one because... I mean, didn't necessarily lose that one already, but we are going to wind up losing this. Let's just seven barriers this. And you are going to do a fair bit of healing. Heal yourself twice so you'll survive. And heal your friend over here twice, so she'll be good. All you have to do is keep getting the mana to keep uh, channeling barriers, and then you just have to keep channeling mana and just occasionally either healing yourself or getting healed. So look, now you can just do... Apparently you can only barrier seven times? You can only barrier seven times. Okay, uh, in that case you can also say heal you so you should last a turn and be fine uh yeah you should be fine for a turn the issue is that you don't know barrier if you could put up like two barriers that would be great attract yes Cast spell barrier seven times. Whew. Cast spell heal on self twice. And then cast spell and heal on friend once we're both good on health and we can end the turn here okay okay cast spell sense specifically sense this one because it's targeting you done Cast spell strike. So you want to three, four, five, and then the last one should hit it. Cast spell strike with water. And this. Yeah, there we go. Killed. This one is almost dead. It just has, you know, a lot of stuff to protect it. Uh, what if I just do that? And cast spell barrier four times. Because that's all you really need now. And then I can, I don't know, say cast spell light on that five times. Blind it for a good long while. Alright, alright. Um. Yeah, special wave is 20 mana. It has 70 regen, so 60 regen, so I can still keep doing that. And oh yeah, fire barrier. It can't put up as many now. One, yeah. One, two, three, four, and then five. If you also had strike, then you could do useful things. But you don't. So, yeah. Attract to yourself. And then cast spell and barrier four times. And you just have to make sure to heal yourself. Right back up to like full. We just have to bank mana to deal with the barriers. Oh, 
Wait, no, no, no. Sense first. Because if you sense, that's basically like getting a free strike in anyway, so... No point in not doing that. And then just keep attacking. Done! Sully gained confidence in herself. Danathus gained nothing from the battle. Whew, we did it. Maybe try it. Next time, maybe try to look a little less terrified. That thing was creepy. I can't believe that out of the entire force, there are only two horses. Sorry, let's get some food. No, I need to practice my flute music class tonight. It was Professor Crabtree. So her husband doesn't speak in for the rest of our walk, but she also didn't take off and leave me behind like last time. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, so I want channeling to regain sp no no because the spell to regain spirit turns out it's pretty poor unless you also just have high intelligence which I could go for get enough intelligence that it's always worth it to cast that each turn also gotta need to get strike Projection to get strike and transmutation. Can't believe we're halfway through already. The curfew bell is ringing, but I'm slumped in a cozy library armchair reading an illustrated guide to Spectre Fate, and I don't want to move. I extinguish the light from my wand and close my eyes briefly, wondering what the Mivets will make for breakfast tomorrow. Pancakes, I hope. Suddenly I see something moving in the corner of my eye. The soft glow coming down the spiral staircase leads to Astrid's study. Strictly off limits to students, of course. Dianathus, what are you doing? Oh, it's you. Didn't realize you're such a rule breaker. You know, there's some dangerous stuff up there, right? That's none of your business. She brushes past me and heads for the library door. What did you get? Fabled omen reader, the love recipe, the memory memoir. That's not even real. She turns you out of the library by following into the quiet, empty corridor. Don't be like that. I'm always happy to be party to a bit of mischief. Just leave me alone. For a moment, I stare into her face. Her sage green eyes seem sad or pained. I fight off a sudden ridiculous urge to hug her. Not for you. I'd be dead right now. I can't leave you alone. Not when you're like this. Not when... I just want to help you. You can't help me. You don't know anything about me. You didn't even realize I existed until that day. Why do you even care? So my heart is racing. My chest feels tight. If you actually listen to me sometimes, you'd know by now. Shades, that's not what I meant to say. Her eyes widen Tad. She let me plenty, but it's the first time I've ever yelled back. I'm sorry, I just... Hey! It's my birthday! Um... See, if we look at the stats, illusion and summoning, what supposed do we get from the illusion from the summoning? Yeah, light is good. Attract is really useful. Summon Fae. Oh, shoot. We should take that. Okay, but how is this better than barrier? Oh, barrier mass- shoot, I should take that! Put barriers on the whole group. Again, attract and barrier is perfectly fine. Uh, if we have elemental strengths, we just free learn elemental strikes. Uh, strikes are always fire element and increase in power based on bravery. Uh, I want to craft things. Healing potion. Antidote and cleansing potion. Perfect. Is 
This way, be a star intelligent. Regeneration potion. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. A po poison potion. Sign you to four studio. I say, just for a moment. I'll do it. Um, you know what? I think it just saved. So let's end it here and finish off uh, next time. Whenever next time comes around, let's finish it off later.